Give me the chat! Alright everybody, welcome back to Tom Raider Definitive Edition. In the last episode, too much stuff happens to this poor girl. But we finally made it back. We've, we've retrieved the rescue boat, which uh, our ragtag trio over here is trying to fix. And our little nerdy guy went to go look for supplies, and he's lost. So today, me and Laura Croft here are gonna head our make our way over there, see if the little goofball's okay, and you know, try to get off this island. But if you remember, Laura's not going to use the boat to get off the island. She's gonna use the boat to, I, I guess, uh, stick it to the man. Because she is an independent woman, and she handles business that way. Alright. Sweet! I got more rifle parts. Alright. Clearly this journey is going to lead to nothing but good things. I can already I can already tell that. Just by how the, everything looks here. Portuguese. Looks to be early 18th century. Even when climbing a mountain, Laura Croft still has time to discover stuff. It's amazing, really. Sounds like they got There are people here. I think they heard it. Okay. As long as they don't notice the fire, because I saw supplies and I had to get it. Wait, you think that's a good idea? Maybe we should just shoot, huh? Tell your friends. Wait, is that all of them? Oh no, there's. I see one moving over there. Ah! Just in case. Good old shotgun. Always there when I need you. Okay. All right. I saw. I saw a body moving. Where? Okay, all right. Like seriously, how, where, where do, in all of this does Laura think is like, yeah, this thing is falling apart and completely decapitating and everything. Well, it should be, it should be easy to climb on it. There it is. Hmm. The pulley. Perhaps. Ha! Uh-oh. Yes, continue to destroy the boat even though it's not necessary right now. I got it. I don't know what it does though. What is it? What does it do? Okay. All right, time to make it back. Okay, I know they didn't have any beef with me, but I feel they're evil, so they all have to die. Well, that worked out well. Alright, time to vamoose. I'm gonna pick your pockets real quick. Alright, all right, let's get out of here. Oh no, I'm gonna get my jeans wet. Again, Laura must either have uh, an awesome resistance towards it, or just must really, really enjoy soggy pants. Cause she's she's like moist this entire game. Wow, that didn't sound right at all. That didn't sound right at all. Disregard the way I said that. But seriously, she's in the water a lot. That's what I meant. Okay, I got the pulley thing. Jonah, you handsome devil, you. Here you go. Thanks. What you looking at? What's wrong? Well, we're on an I island and we're kind of boned. Help! Help! Stuck with me. Jonah, help! Uh. 
Not this boner again. I feel like he's the reason we're getting all into this stuff in the first place. How many are there? I don't know. Are you hurt? I couldn't see anyone. <sighs> Must have scared them off. I feel like I've run for miles. And you've barely broken a sweat. Must be fitter than I thought. You could have led them straight to us. Like you did back at the palace. What? That's not how it was, Laura. They, they, they caught me while you were getting Sam. What the hell is this about? You have a male satchel. You're a liar. You said it was the only way they'd let you and the others live. I, I tried to warn you. We don't have time for this. Look, I don't know what the problem is between the two of you, and to tell you the truth, I don't much care. I was only hoping... Look, that... another word, and I swear to God, I'll start smashing that expensive dentistry of yours. Stop, stop, stop. Jeez, you're so sassy. Oh, my goodness. If we fight amongst ourselves, then we lose. You're right. Which is why this is not happening, okay? I'm going off to I Alex. won't shoot him if he Where doesn't. The, tools? the engine room. Look, he can take care of himself, Lara. Good. Then we'll be back soon. Yeah, I had more fun falling off of mountains than hanging out with you guys. I guess, it, like, if you realize, the more time you spend with people that you're not used Lara, to, the wait. more you start to hate them as time goes along. Here, take this bow. I've been saving it for you ever since I found it. It's powerful. It can shoot an arrow into almost anything. Ooh. Thank you, Jonah. See, Jonah, you're my only friend. You give me stuff. That's why you're in the you're in Rise of the Tomb Raider, and none of these jerk-offs are. <laughs> Bring me back, girl. Compound bow. Modified recurve bow to compound bow. Modifying weapon will remove all previous upgrades. No more storms. All right. No more assault climb. rifle. Modify weapon with World War II submachine gun to assault rifle. Alright. I'm here. I'm alive, and I'm certain that no boat Okay, let's build some skills up. At least not yet. I know so a dodge kill. Has something to do with him in that let's see. I have to. Dodge kill. Successfully lightly darmored opponents and then strike them at close range. I get to stab him with an arrow? I like that. Alright, I need one more skill. Let's see. Uh, I need to be a tier 3 specialist. What does that mean? Animal instincts. Keen observation allows you to spot hard to find animals. I don't need animals. Arrow retrieval. Well, I do run out of ammo a lot, so there we go. <laughs> you can pull arrows out of enemies' butts now. I like it. Okay. Let's upgrade some weapons. Okay, bow upgrades. Let's see. Napalm arrows. Definitely need that. Let's see. I only have 178 pieces of stuff left, so... I have nothing. I don't have enough to do anything else. But at least my bow's upgraded. All right. Laura, the endurance beach on the other side of those cliffs. You can probably use that new bow to make your way there. Maybe on those rocks across from the dock. Okay, across the dock. Let's see. So he's all the way in that boat in the far off distance. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be an issue. It's not that far. I hope. All right, don't worry, buddy. We're coming to save you. Or at least I am, because everyone else is too chicken to leave the freaking boat. Got these seagulls! Again, when are they gonna give Laura a chance to just be like, you know what, you've kind of been through a lot of crap, Laura. Why don't you just, you know, sit back, relax, have some soup, you know? You kind of earned it. But like, no, go over here into this broken, like, abandoned ship and find our friend who was too stupid to go by himself instead of going with a group. Uh oh, there are people in here. I need to be stealthy. Now's not the time to be a hero, dude. 
Especially how things are going right now. The last thing you want to do is be a hero. Oh, there's a ladder up there. I didn't see that. Okay. Make waste. Make haste? Make haste? Yeah. Why did I say make waste? Right. Huh. GPS cache. Even though I don't really need those. Okay. The rope is where I need to be. Shimmy. All right. Stupid seagulls. I don't know why, but immediately when I see any... At least now, anyway. The first thing that comes to mind is the seagulls from Finding Nemo. You know, the whole... My, my, yeah, those things. I'll, and I'll be honest. At first, when I saw that as a kid, I thought, ah, this is kind of funny. And now I see it as a, as a grown-up, and I'm just like, wow, that was actually pretty annoying. Oh. Caught him right between the eye. There we go. You know, these either these henchmen are getting very weak, or I'm just getting a lot better. I'm going to go with the first option. They're getting a lot weaker. Because I'll be honest, my aim, my aim has really not like thus improved since the beginning of the game. But I do feel a lot more confident, especially now that I have weapons that will immediately kill them with one shot. Again, one shotting stuff is a lot, is a way more satisfying than you may think. I gotta be honest with you, folks. So we slide it down here. Symptomatic. That should do it. That should do it. How are we gonna tell the enforcers? Don't worry about it. Just turn around, and I'll give you a birthday present. But you shot him. Happy Hanukkah. Happy, uh, uh, springtime festival. I'm burning. Ugh! <laughs> just stand there and just get coated in fire. Wait, something's wrong here. I'm fly- I'm on fire! Ah! Alright, sweet. I got grenades. You saw nothing. Judging with the arrow in your eye, you're not going to see much after that either. So, yeah. My balance is impeccable. Okay. And we go. Aha. I'm coming for you, little nerdy guy. You're going to be fine. Your hero is here. We need to find something stronger. My impeccable lady strength is not enough. Alright, so I guess we go through here? Why is there razor wire on everything? Can't, it, can't we just have like a nice padded hallway, you know? Why do caves have to be so gloomy and mean? It makes me wonder, really. I don't see anybody. I think we're safe. Yeah. Ooh. The endurance. They're tearing it apart. So the endurance is where I need to head. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need at least 300 to upgrade. Aha! That's only 15. Okay. Well, by the looks of things, I need to head to the Endurance to save our good old buddy that's locked in there. But, I think we're going to call it here for this episode of Tom Brader. And in the next one, we're going to climb over to this rock, go on that rock, and then go to that boat. Because we got to save our friend. So until then, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And in the next one, we're going to do a little bit more adventuring with Miss Laura Croft here. So until then, guys, remember, this was Tom Brader. I've been Benchez. I love all your faces. See you next time. See you later.